Hi everyone and welcome to Learn A-Level Biology for free with Miss Estrick. In this video we're going through the link reaction and the Krebs cycle. So these two are part of aerobic respiration. Glycolysis is actually the first stage of aerobic respiration and that's in anaerobic and aerobic and I'll link just up here the previous video which explains this process. But this one is just looking at these two middle stages which happen in the mitochondrial matrix. So the first thing is two of the products from glycolysis, which we can see a summary of here, have to be actively transported from the cytoplasm, which is where glycolysis occurs, into the mitochondrial matrix. And that is pyruvate and reduced NAD or NADH. Now, NADH won't be used until the final step, oxidated phosphorylation, but pyruvate is used immediately in the link reaction. So let's have a look at the link reaction first. The key things then are the pyruvate, which was made in glycolysis, is oxidized into acetate. And in doing that, the hydrogen, which is lost from pyruvate to oxidize it, is picked up by the coenzyme NAD, and reduces it to form NADH. Pyruvate is also a three carbon molecule. Acetate is only two carbons. And this is how carbon dioxide, or one of the stages where carbon dioxide is formed. So the last stage in the link reaction is how acetate is converted into acetyl coenzyme A. And that's simply by acetate combining with a coenzyme called coenzyme A. And the purpose of this step is so acetyl-CoA can enter the next stage, which is the Krebs cycle. But just to summarise then, the three things that are made in this stage are acetyl-coenzyme A, carbon dioxide, reduced coenzyme, um, reduced NAD. You don't have any ATP be made at all. And from one round of the link reaction, you only get one of each of these molecules, but for one glucose molecule, because you would create two pyruvates, the link reaction would happen twice. So that's why if you're asked what would the products be for every glucose molecule, it's two times each of those molecules. So then the Krebs cycle, we're going to be looking at how the acetyl coenzyme A enters the cycle. So the first step is the acetyl coenzyme A is reacting with a four carbon molecule to create a six carbon molecule because we're adding four and two. And in doing that, the coenzyme A, whose purpose was purely to help bring the acetate into the cycle, um, that coenzyme A is then released and it can be reused in the link reaction. So the next stage is simplified quite a lot at A level and you just need to know it's a series of redox reactions bringing that six carbon molecule to form a four carbon molecule. So first of all, if we're going from six to four, we must be losing carbon and that is in the form of two carbon dioxide. This stage produces ATP and then the redox reactions is linking to these reduced coenzymes. So NAD is reduced to form reduced NAD, and we have FAD forming reduced FAD. And when these coenzymes become reduced, they have picked up a hydrogen atom, and therefore a proton and an electron. So they are gaining those electrons from the six carbon molecule. So because they are gaining electrons, they are reduced. And because the carbon molecules are losing electrons, those are oxidized. So just looking at the products then of the Krebs cycle, for one round of this cycle, we have three reduced NAD, one reduced FAD, one ATP, and two carbon dioxide molecules. Um, however, if you were asked how many of these products would you have per glucose, because we have two pyruvate, we have two acetyl coenzyme A, so the cycle happens twice. So we multiply all of those by two, and this is our subtotal then of all the products in um, this stage at the moment. So just to recap, this top bit is the link reaction, and that happens in the mitochondria matrix. 
This lower part is the Krebs cycle, also known as the citric acid cycle. And this is also happening in the mitochondrial matrix. So I hope you have found that helpful today. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, click the subscribe button to keep up to date on all of the latest videos.